In the military, they teach you about teamwork and the importance of teamwork and how crucial that is. It's really the same thing here in, in the education world. You've got to rely on one another to ensure that high levels of learning are happening for a child. You can't do it by yourself. Serving overseas, you saw children that didn't have the advantages, didn't have the freedoms that these children have. Um, it helped give me a sense of perspective. It helped, it helped me understand how important freedoms are. It's never about the individual. It's always about the organization. It's always about the unit. It's always about something that's bigger and even better and, and more important than, than you. So you, you learn really quickly to put your needs aside for the, for the betterment of the unit. Really, it comes down to the, uh, learning how to uh, work with other people, uh, uh, working collaboratively as a team for a, a common purpose and a common goal, but also uh, to learn resilience and fortitude. And those things translated quite nicely as a school principal, uh, as I have to deal with uh, things on a daily basis that, that just come up. Uh, having served in the Air Force for 26 years, especially as a chaplain, that taking care of people has been my number one priority and it's really helped me do the same when I come to the school. First taking care of our students, but also taking care of the teachers because we know when the teachers are happy and are feeling valued, then the things are going to happen in the classroom. Positive, happy, uh, wonderful things are going to happen in the classroom with our students. The experiences I had in the military taught me new skills. I presented a lot of briefings to generals, to other leaders, and large groups of people. And so it made me a lot more comfortable also to stand in front of a group of kids. Although sometimes I think the kids make me a little more nervous, a little more anxious than uh, standing in front of some of those military leaders. But I really love it. And uh, it has been a great experience for me now being in education. The military has taught me how to uh, apply what you learn to what you do in the, the community. So service is a big deal, especially in flying. Uh, you get in that aircraft and you have a lot of people in the back that's uh, depending on you to uh, get them to where they wanna go. In a way, I believe that's service. When you come home, uh, you, add, you end up talking to a lot of people about your um, experiences and uh, you can apply that to what they wanna do. Uh, give back to your community after you've learned your uh, basic uh, flying skills. Serving the military is not an easy thing and I feel like being in the military I got a lot of good leadership opportunities that helped me be a leader in my classroom and leader amongst other teachers as well. It also helped me to be aware of people that might be having problems or struggling with life choices or friends or bullying or something like that because in the military you have a lot of opportunities to be able to go help your fellow battle buddies who are struggling with life's issues or struggling with the mission or things of that nature and so I feel like I got a lot out of the military to be able to notice those things in my students and to be able to talk with them and to help them through life's problems. Having served in the military in Korea uh, in 1987, when I had the opportunity to be the company clerk to a first sergeant and a colonel. The responsibilities were, without saying, uh, enormous, and yet the return on that was a wonderful experience for me to get to know that much. I learned a lot from individuals today because of what I learned in, in, the, in the military. As individual students, as you think about your career in the future, look to what you can do that you can gain the trust of those people around you without asking, without asking, do you trust me? Trust is something we build. The parents of the children that I work with, because I work exclusively with special needs, trust me with their children's lives every day. They trust that the bus will operate properly. We have mechanics that help us do that. We are a team, and the team is only as perfect as every player and participant. It's important to figure out a uh a way you can serve your community, your country, your your neighborhood. It helps you build character, helps you to understand and get to know what's out there and beyond your four walls of your home. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And it's easier said than done, right? Because it takes some effort making sure that 
uh, you see the value in that. But serving others is something where, uh, again, you will find benefit that not only helps somebody else, but that will also help you. When you serve other people, and there's so many ways to serve people, not just the military, but be it first responders, teachers, you know, doctors, and there's a tons of jobs that you can serve people. When you're helping people make their lives better, it fulfills your life uh, even better. And I, I just feel joy when I get to serve other people. And so that's what, that's the advice I would give to students. Serve others and you'll find joy.